This screencast explains the differences and the uses of mono and stereo audio files. A mono file has only one audio track and when heard back on headphones sounds central in the positioning exactly as you are hearing this now. A stereo audio file comprises two audio tracks which makes it double the size of a mono file with the same settings. It has one track on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. If both are of equal volume then the sound is central but if the relative volumes are changed, the sound can be positioned anywhere from all the way on the left hand side right across to all the way over onto the right hand side. Using one track of spoken word as a stereo file can be a bit pointless as a mono file can produce this exact same central effect. If you wish to use a reverb effect to add a bit of space then a stereo file is required because to create the effect there needs to be a difference in the left and right channels. If you have a production with more than one person speaking, then a stereo file is useful as you can pan position your subjects in different places like so, in order to create a realistic environment for the listener. This is particularly helpful in interviews where one speaker can be positioned here and the other one here. The key to effective panning is subtle changes. Going overboard can make for unpleasant and disorientating listening. 